Get over here! How's it going, everybody? The Green Scorpion here with, as usual, Comic Foil. And welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Mario Golf Total Tour, and here we are at Peach's Castle. Okay, I love the fact that this is Peach's Invitational. It's a really beautiful looking course, mind you, and a lot of, uh, a lot of references to, like, Mario games and everything. And yet, for, and yet for some reason, <laughs> we're using Yoshi. I mean, it's Peach sent what? out the what? invitation. What's she, the what? What? She, she doesn't have to what? invite herself. What's this? Are those stars acting as the markers for? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Disclaimer: I've never played this hole before. Really? I, I played up to the blooper open with uh, this game when I first when I owned Mario Golf Tour. But I've never actually played Peach's Invitational or the Bowser Championship. Dude, I'm sorry you're in for it. It gets hard. Ooh. This this is where like this is where like Mario gimmicks start coming in. Cause like look around, there's like pipes and stuff. Wait a second. Do those pipes Don't tell me you put the golf ball in those pipes, they end up somewhere else. Actually I don't know for sure. I, I didn't think about it, but look, there's two yellow ones and there's two green ones, so presumably if you hit it in the yellow one, it would come out the other yellow one, right? You know, you know, you're, you know, I'm gonna test this now, right? That's not the easiest shot to make, but I guess if you don't get it right in, like, try to make it so that if you miss, you go over it. Uh, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? For science. <sighs> All right, let's hold on the question real quick. I gotta test this out. Okay, good, because I don't actually know which question. Picking questions from this is kind of like DJing. You gotta feel the mood. Oh, I missed it. Okay. All right. uh, we'll try it again another time. Um, let's continue with this hole for now. Okay, so our first question for today is going to come from uh, Toby Saru. Oh, Toby. Oh, I know who he is. Yeah, hey, Jeremy. Hey, how's it going, Jeremy? Um, what is your opinion of using CGI to construct images of deceased actors to reprise past roles? Have you seen Rogue One? Yes. Okay, I I feel like that's like I, the I, biggest I, example of doing that. It is, and you're not wrong. Ooh. So, um, to put that into non-film language, not that that was like speaking Latin or anything. I Ooh, love Yoshi. That's pretty. I love Yoshi. He that's has a pretty. rainbow. Um. Okay. Anyway, if a actor has deceased, it has died, but you want the same character back, is it okay to computer generate them into a movie? That is actually a very excellent question. I, if you want my personal, like, moral opinion about it, I don't necessarily see the problem as long as, I don't know. It's one of those things you gotta be very careful with, obviously. I, I, I think it's a case-by-case -case kind of thing. It really is. Like, I, I don't, I guess, like, uh... I can see why, so, spoilers, not really for Rogue One, um... But, uh, Tarkin appears in it, who was the Im Imperial leader aboard the Death Star in Star Wars A New Hope. And he's in Rogue One, and that actor has since passed away. But they computer-generated nice him. Nice, nice try. Yeah, yeah, um, it was close, it was close, but I think this is a par. No, it's a bogey. Uh, dude, this isn't a gnomon, is it? You'll be fine. Look at his little Aww. shoes. All right. Uh, anyway, you were saying. Um, it kind of looks weird. Like, it, it's still in the Uncanny Valley. They did a pretty good job, but it just still doesn't quite look right to me. Like, he looks very synthetic. Like, I feel like I'm looking at the vision when I look in his eyes. I got a feeling that if I put the ball into those zones, those chain chomps are going to go nuts. Yeah, no, don't do that. Oh, uh, boy. That might be, that might be like an out of bounds if you hit it into the chain chomp zone. That's a good, that's good to know. Oh, I kind of I'm suddenly nervous. I, I also want to point out that, like, Mario spent all this time in Super Mario 64 gathering all the stars, and now Peach just uses them as, like, teas. I mean, they're just sitting around, not doing anything. <laughs> I mean, some of them are protecting the castle, mind you, but you only need 80 stars to protect the castle. Like, yeah, what are so, the other 40 doing? <laughs> I guess just... Okay, so you have 18 holes, 4 stars on each hole, so that's 72 stars, though, that she's using in this. Uh, so, so maybe, maybe it's going off of Super Mario 64 DS, where there's 150 stars, but 
but then there's still two stores less than you need to protect the castle. But ah. who's but who's counting besides me? Uh, yeah, this is us we're talking about, dude. Um, we kind of lost sight of the question though. So CGI for actors? Ah! That wasn't my answer. Okay, I thought maybe you were violently opposed to CGIing actors. <laughs> no. Look at this little hump. Look at this little. Aww. <laughs> okay, you're right. Yoshi's cute. Okay, anyway, I don't think I. I don't personally see the problem with it. That being said, I think what you said pretty much nails it on the head. It's a case by case scenario. Yeah, because in certain cases, yes, it wouldn't be a problem. However, if you don't handle it correctly, it's going to cause some issues. Um, at least, mor morally speaking. So, again, like, for me personally, I don't see the problem, but... I mean... Handle it with care. They do it kind of lovingly for that actor of Tarkin. You can see that it's because they have great respect. And Rogue One, they wanted so much to have it, like, feel like it's happening right before Star Wars A New Hope. So that's why they did it with Tarkin and another returning character who I won't spoil. Right. Um, but... I feel like in other stuff, though, like, we have new actors taking taking the mantle all the time, and I think it potentially robs us, uh, robs new actors of chances to, you know, get work done. I do, I do see what you mean. But, so uh, yeah, case by case. Mm -hmm. In the case, in the case of Rogue One, I think it was alright. It did, it did look a little off, but I think it was okay. Alright, that, that was actually a really interesting question. I yeah. appreciated that. Alright, uh, let's move on to the next question. Okay, so... Um, this one comes from King Knuckles, uh, kind of a big one here. Oh. Least favorite video game franchise. Do you have a least favorite video game franchise? I don't think I really do. Um, because... I, I was scratching my head at this one, too. Cause... Yeah, that, that's a that's a bit of an iffy one, because... I don't normally hate things. Mm -hmm. It's one of those cases where it's like, how exactly would you, uh... I mean, if I were to do a top ten least favorite franchises, that that's definitely harder than if I were to do my favorites, because I know what my favorites are. I feel like it would become more of a, like, top ten franchises I just never got into. Yeah, like, what what defines least favorite? Do you hate it, or do you... or is it just something that just never interests you well, in the slightest? Well, think about, like, Sonic haters who, you know... Sonic is quirky, and there are people who just, like, hate Sonic and all that it is with a passion. Yeah. Like, I, I, like think like that, maybe. Like, I guess I can give you at least a couple of examples, um, but the thing is, like, one of my... You know what? Um, no offense to anyone who likes these games, mind you, but one of the game, one of the types of games that I just never got into are the, uh, re are the reality sports games. So, like, FIFA... Or, okay, or like, Madden. Games like that, never got into them. Like, yeah, same. I, I had fun with them at some point, like, when I was playing with certain friends or anything like that, but really, that's not a game I'm going to choose to play on my own time, or it's never going to be my first choice. Yeah, that was just Gran Turismo. Yeah. I, I have no interest in that. I don't, like, I don't like a lot of racing games either, except for, like, if we're talking, like, racing games with, like, real cars, Burnout's a good one. Well, yeah, because burnout is crazy. Exactly, but like, like the real cars, but the physics engine is just out of control. Exactly, and it's situations like that where I'll make an exception. However, you're not going to see me playing a NASCAR game ever. Yeah, I'd like, rather my spare time. Like, I, I'd, I'd rather play Mario Kart. If I'm going to play, yeah. like, if you're going to play the likes of a soccer game, I'd rather play Mario Strikers. Yeah, or, or Crash or, Team Racing, or, or Crash Team Racing, or um, uh, what's what's in Rocket League? Yeah, I couldn't think of the name either. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Or I don't know. Mega Man soccer? Uh, he does use a soccer ball at one point, but I don't think that counts. The only thing that... No, there was a Mega Man soccer. Was there? Yeah. Yeah, there definitely was a Mega Man soccer. That's almost as outlandish as that soccer game from Shaolin Showdown. It was like... <laughs> good reference. Um, it was like Super Nintendo era... Uh -huh. It might have, like, it was made around the same time as Mega Man 7, I think, and it's, you build your team, it was kind of like a top-down perspective, yeah. and you built your team out of Mega Man and other, like, popular robot masters, like, from, like, the first three games. How come I've never heard of this? Um, I mean, it was kind of a fringe title, it's not really great. Oh, uh, okay. In, in, in my opinion, but... It, 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 it's something. It, 
it's it's worth a look at. All right. If you're a fan of Mega Man, it's worth a look at. That's okay. that's why they gave him the soccer ball weapon. It was a tie-in. Oh, I yeah. thought he used it at one point during like one of the games, but I guess I'm wrong. Well, no, he uses it in Mega Man Eight. But okay, they gave that's it to him in Mega Man Eight as a reference to Mega Man Soccer. Oh, see, I was thinking like I was thinking like the only the only other time I did see it was when he used it in Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, he does use it in there. Yep. Well, that's why. All right. Well, that's good to know. Food for thought. But yeah, like those are the games that I'm never really into. Like I, I, I could like, I could like uh, be the generic one and say Call of Duty. But I actually like some games in the Call of Duty franchise. So, uh, yeah. Like I was never big into first-person shooters, but then again, like I'm on a, I'm on an Overwatch binge right now. I mean, I could probably think of some just like, really like, objectively <sighs> bad or like. You yeah, know, like, like, the it, like le it, Leisure Suit Larry, which is yeah, offensive on many levels. There's Bubsy, obviously. Yeah. Which some I people don't, really don't, like the first one. Uh, I don't. I don't see how honestly. Uh, cult, uh, cult classic, I guess. I guess, but at the same time, like I can't think of a single Bubsy game that is legitimately good, like objectively. <laughs> but that's beside the point. But yeah, I think that's a. I think that's a legitimate answer to that question. Yeah. All right then. Oh, so, and um, though I respect it a lot, I will never play a Five Nights at Freddy's game. I, yeah, I guess I can see that. That would just, like, I'm not saying don't like it, but that would just be a very unpleasant experience for me. Yeah, I was never a huge fan of it either, just because I'm not into jump scares all, at all. It, it's... Whoa! 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 There it is! It was a birdie, but I'll take it. It, like, it popped out, rolled back in. That, that, was, some, that was some craziness. I'll take that. All right. I think that's a good mo point to move on to the next question. Is that a s what? It's Toadsworth. Hey, Toadsworth. You're actually in this game. Yep. I mean, not really, but next question. Uh, maybe he was turned to stone by a Gorgon. Maybe he grabbed a Mega Mushroom and then was turned to stone. This isn't Super Mario. This isn't Super yeah, Mario Yeah, by Bowyer. It's, it's the return of Bowyer. Oh snap! You're he, right. He's petrified. See, for some reason, I was thinking of like the 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 supposed narrative, and oh Jesus, I'm tempted, but I don't think I want to try Man, that. Dude, no. Oh wait. Oh, oh. You do that. I'm gonna find the next question. Okay. Okay, I think I know how I can do this. <laughs> this could either go really, really well or really badly. There's no margin of error here. Is either gonna be great or terrible. It is the will of causality. Uh, don't do the stop, 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 Super Max Spin! Nice, 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 nice. All right, there we go. Okay, you have my respect, sir. Okay, there we go. Okay, next question. Okay, um, uh, Trish Overman forty seven asks, I always. I'm always hearing that the main characters of Final Fantasy XIII are of mixed reception. So I was wondering what you think of the six Final Fantasy... Um, sorry, this is a lo longer one. Right. Um, if you were to rank the six Final Fantasy XIII characters from worst to best, what order would they be in? Okay, from worst to best. I personally have a theory that everybody who plays Final Fantasy XIII likes three characters and hates three characters. I'm... And they're never the same ones. But check out King bob -omb. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. There's some serious... Th this is bob -omb Battlefield! There's some serious Super Mario 64 love in this game. Yeah, I can tell. Which makes sense. This is a GameCube game. Alright, so the six characters from um, Final Fantasy XIII... Remind me of all of them again. Okay, I know, like, so most we of have... Them. Lightning, we have Snow, Hope, uh, Vanille. That's that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, get, it's Vanille. I get Vanille and uh, Pinello confused sometimes. Vanille, uh, Saz, Fang. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, so from from worst to best. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, objectively, like the worst is probably Vanille. Yeah. And that seems to be the consensus of a lot of people. That character trope just doesn't do it for me. It really doesn't. I, I, and for me personally, like, I wasn't a huge fan of it either. I don't know if that's, like, a bigger thing in Japan. It might be. Because but I, I, was I, was like I was never into it, personally. Um, from that... Okay. As much as I don't mind the... Like, keep in mind, like, this is me kind of ranking them in such a way that, like... So it's not that you hate... It's not that hate I the hate these characters, but 
some of them I do, I guess. Like, I don't like Nathaniel at all, to be honest. Okay. But, um, from here on out, like, take it with a grain of salt. After that is Fang, only because I didn't get a lot out of her. Like, she's not a bad character, but she just doesn't do it for me. She's, she's the last one to join. Actually, no. Scratch that. No, 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 no. Actually, no. Keep okay. Fang there. Fang okay. there, because only because I didn't get much out of her, and yeah, she is the last to join. After that, in my opinion, is Lightning. Okay. Only because, not saying that Lightning's a bad character, she is not protagonist material. At all. Like, they kind of were, they, it's kind of funny because Final Fantasy XIII was trying to go for, like, this group dynamic type of thing, like they were doing with Six, and yet Lightning is, like, pretty much the main focus of the entire shtick. Oh, uh, she's super stoic. Yeah, and that bugs me. What is this? If Lightning were the main character of Metroid and Other M, and Other M Samus were the main character of Final Fantasy XIII, both games would be better. <laughs> I wouldn't deny that, honestly. Um, I, I don't know about that. That's a. I, I kind of like Lightning, so. I I I'm okay with Lightning. She just she's not the protagonist. I'm sorry, she's not protagonist material at all. Uh, but that's just me again. Um, oh jeez, this is. A Precarious, uh... She, she feels like a really deep, complex character that they just never really get around to explaining. Like, nothing she does really comes down to an arc. Yeah, you're pretty much right. Um, after that is Hope. As much as you guys don't like Hope, I actually think he's a decent character. Not not the best written, mind you, but, I, but he actually has an arc. We have very different opinions on who are. This, this supports my theory because I also don't like Vanille, but my three favorites would have been Fang, Lightning, and Hope. <laughs> that, that was my team, at least. I, I guess not really so much as characters. Oh my god, what is this hole, dude? I'm just not having the. the, the you're you're not wrong in like in the explanation of this. Oh, good lord. Um, what if you get it in there and top spin it? Yeah, that's what I'm probably gonna have to do. Or can you do a different club that'll give you a higher arc? No, that's that's the best I'm gonna get. Okay. Um, you gotta really give it all you got then. Okay. Uh, okay, you're up there. No, you're down. You're down. You're down. You're down. This is bad. You're you're in trouble, my friend. I'm gonna have to go this way and like go into the. Wait, is, it, is there nowhere else you can go? Like, can you keep going around the mountain? No, no. That's it. Wow, putting it. Yeah, I kind of have to go this way. That should be enough. It's not enough. Oh my god, I, what I, is this hole?! I would have put it further. Oh, by the way, um, the music in this course, I know we haven't really been able to listen to it, but it is the castle theme from Super Mario 64. Oh, so it is. All right, let's try this. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a bad one here. I bet if you played this course again, now you'd be able to figure out how to do it. Probably. I think the trick was you were supposed to hit it into that blue fairway area. Mm-hmm. And then up here. But you're looking at a, um... Yeah, you're looking oh at a Lord. plus five right now. Wow, this is terrible. I feel so bad right now. Jeez. So after that uh, is sorry, Snow. Yeah. And then after that is Saz. Good choice. So Hope, Snow, and Saz are the characters I actually like in there. Wow. That is a um Uh that that is a very masculine list. Oh snap, I just realized you're right. Just throwing it out there. Uh that wasn't on purpose, I swear. Well, I mean, is that you or is that writers? Though? I don't know. I I, th I think Fang is cool, but both Fang and I think Lightning is that, cool. That's the thing, I don't have a problem with Fang. Both of them they I don't... just didn't get anything out of her. I, I think I think Fang's character works a lot more subtly. And also liking Fang kind of depends on you liking Vanille, because their characters are intertwined. I can agree with that. Because they're, the, they're the two from Grand Pulse. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I have moral issues with Final Fantasy XIII's gameplay. Like, I don't like it from a design perspective, but I did play Final Fantasy XIII and actually had a pretty good time playing it. Yeah, like, it's not a bad game, mind you, but I do have issues I, with I it. I don't recommend it. Yeah, that's pretty much the best I can say about it. But I had a good enough time with it. That's good.